First of all, thanks to Geeky Ant for helping me present over this platform. Today here, we are going to delve into a subject that bridges the cutting edge technology with the human well-being. In short, about 10 benefits of artificial intelligence. So let's get started. The first benefit is enhancing the medical diagnostics. AI has a progress in analyzing the complex medical data like the radiological images, which can help us in grout making outcomes. This can help us in getting the faster and precise diagnostics, which can help us in early disease detection and better outcome. For example, Google's DeepMind AI has boasted an accuracy of 94% in detecting the signs of diabetic retinopath by doing the retinal scans, which is far better than any of the human performances being seen in the past. Moving ahead, it can help us in personalized treatment plans. For example, artificial intelligence can help us ingest medical records, research, and clinical expertise to suggest various treatment options based on person's history. This data-driven approach can handle a new era of precision medicine. For example, we can have tailored plans which will help us in better responses and reduce side effects. The real-life example of this being IBM's Watson suggests customized therapies for cancer patients based on their individual history, based on their particular records, and what are the things they are allergic to. This can help us in preparing a better plan. Moving ahead, drug discovery and development. Like, like being discussed in previous points as well, with the AI, we can try to ingest all the data which is there, the medical history which are there, which can help us in introducing new drugs development. For example, we are seeing a new outage of any virus which in there in, in the new geography or something. Using the medical data for that particular geography or particular region, AI can predict what can be the protein structure for the drugs which can help as an antidote for this. So this can help us like identify the drug target for a rare disease, which can help us the uh, targeted patients get a ray of hope. Moving ahead, the predictive analytics for patient care. So I would like to relate this example to the COVID-19. Like using all the data sources which we have, for example, getting the data from the news, getting the data from social media, and all the uh, travel data set which is available. It can identify the patterns in the global travel and try to predict. For example, the Blue Dots AI platform had predicted the outbreak of COVID-19. And this happened even before the official alerts came into picture. So these kinds of alerts can help us in real-time monitoring, early intervention, and better be prepared for any kind of pandemics or virus outbreaks in the near future. Moving ahead, the administrative efficiency. So with the help of AI, what we can do is we can try to help the medical staff focus solely on the patient side, whereas AI can handle all the admin tasks, for example, scheduling, billing, and all the manual things which can be done. The example of this is the Cleveland Clinic's appointment bot uses the AI chatbots for making the appointments based on doctor's availability, based on the particular day, and it also provides a FAQ list using which the patient can take it immediate steps in case he's not able to reach out to the doctor. Moving ahead, the virtual health assistance. So let me give you an example. For example, the doctor has prescribed the medication to the patients at particular amount of time. Then they had suggested the particular walk activity or some kind of aerobic activity, but the patient is not able to adhere to those standards. AI can come into picture and help us. For example, the AI powered assistance can provide reminders, advice, which can help us in better patient engagement and adherence to medicines. There has been voice assistance in the market, which can help us with the medication reminders in such case. Moving ahead, radiology automation. So why radiology automation? As we have discussed in the earlier points also, but in radiology, we have seen the cases wherein artificial intelligence has predicted using in the medical scans, the early symptoms of brain hemorrhage, which can help the patients get treatment better. Also, this can help us in finding new trends, new patterns in the new outbreaks which are happening in the particular domain. Moving ahead, the ethical considerations. So as all of you are aware, once the topic of artificial intelligence comes into picture, everyone is concerned about the ethics which are being followed or not. It can be related to privacy of data, whether their data is private to them or it is getting leaked, whether it's biased or not. So there has been initiatives 
For example, Stanford has created an initiative for fairness in AI, which will reinforce that any treatment which is being given to the patients is being in unbiased form. All the algorithms are fair and they are unbiased irrespective of the patient's history and the patient data remains secure within the boundaries of the organization. Moving ahead, the remote patient monitoring. As being presented in the earlier talks, that the example of the Apple Watch, which can help us in getting the patient's heart data and help doctor with all these data. So therein, there are specialized companies like Bioformis, which has developed an AI-powered wearable device that can help us monitor the patients in real time. So to give you an example, in case there are patients who are having a history of a heart failure and they are wearing this device, in case of any anomalies, any outbreaks in the pattern or anything, any unusual activity, an alert can be sent to the nearest doctor, nearest hospital facility, and this can aid us in remote patient monitoring. Because the doctor cannot be available at convenience for all of us, this remote patient monitoring can, consider, can be considered as a boon with the help of artificial intelligence. Moving ahead, the medical research acceleration. So AI can help us in identifying what can be the particular antidote to a virus coming in, or there can be a complex uh, spread which is happening across the globe. In that case, using all the data which we have, it can help us in identifying what can be the top three or top four drugs which can help us prevent the disease and take particular actions. This cannot be done without the intervention of artificial intelligence, since it requires a lot of complex analysis and trying to go through millions of records of data in the history. So yeah, this was all I had from my end. I had kept the presentation short to keep it engaging. In conclusion, we can say the AI's penetration into the healthcare fabric is seismic. I hope you were able to learn a few points out of this. My heartfelt appreciation for all your presence. And yeah, in case you want to reach me out, I'm available, available on LinkedIn.